welcome to my channel in this video we will discuss blood supply of uveal tract first we will discuss arterial supply the uveal tract is supplied by three sets of arteries first set is short posterior ciliary arteries these arteries arise as two trunks from the ophthalmic artery a branch of the internal carotid, carotid artery each trunk divides into 10 to 20 branches which pierce the sclera around the optic nerve and supply the choroid in a segmental manner those th they supply the choroid in a segmental manner arise from the ophthalmic artery and pierce the sclera around the optic nerve then long posterior ciliary arteries these are two in number nasal and temporal these pierce the sclera obliquely on medial and lateral side of the optic nerve medial and lateral side of the optic nerve and run forward in the supracoroidal space to reach the ciliary muscle without giving any branch so they reach the ciliary muscle before reaching ciliary muscle they do not give any branch at the anterior end of the ciliary muscle these anastomos with each other and with the anterior ciliary arteries give branches which supplies the which supply the ciliary body so long posterior ciliary arteries supply the ciliary body these are two in number nasal and temporal here you can see major arterial circle of iris these are iris vessels here you can see anterior ciliary vessels anterior ciliary vessels here you can see branch of anterior ciliary vein from ciliary muscle here you can see episcleral vessel vessels that drain the aqueous humor here vortex vein here long posterior ciliary artery short posterior ciliary arteries dural vessels pile vessels central retinal artery and vein so these are in sheathed in a bundle then third group is anterior ciliary arteries these are derived from the muscular branches of the ophthalmic artery a form of ophthalmic artery they originate and they are seven in number two each from the arteries of superior rectus inferior rectus and medial rectus muscle and one for the, for that of lateral rectus muscle so they supply the rectus muscles of the eye these arteries pass anteriorly in the episclera give branches to sclera limbus and conjunctiva and ultimately pierce the sclera near the limbus to enter the ciliary muscle where they anastomose with the two long posterior ciliary arteries to form the circulus arteriosus major and it is formed near the root of the iris several branches arise from the circulus arteriosus major and supply the ciliary processes one branch for each process Similarly, many branches from this major arterial circus run radially through the iris towards pupillary margin where they anastomose with each other to form the circulus arteriosus minor. So, circulus arteriosus major and circulus arteriosus minor. High yield points. Venous drainage. A series of small veins which drain blood from the iris ciliary body and choroid joint to form the vortex veins. Here you can see a vortex vein. The vortex veins are four in number superior temporal, inferior temporal, superior nasal and inferior nasal. They pierce the sclera behind the equator and drain into superior and inferior ophthalmic veins, which in turn drain into the cavernous sinus. Thank you.